Welcome to gmatquestions.org. This is a tutorial for a critical reading type question on the GMAT. Let's go ahead and begin. A recent online survey conducted by the National Research Institute of Consumer Products and Affairs has revealed that working adults between the ages of 45 and 55 are the most likely to purchase video game consoles in California. Thus, the popular belief that video games tend to be enjoyed primarily by teenagers and college students is false. The argument is flawed primarily because the statement fill in the blank. Okay, so as we can see, we're being asked to provide an answer choice that would reveal the logical flaw upon which the argument being made in the passage is based. Now, because we're being asked to provide an answer choice that would reveal a flaw, thereby weakening the efficacy of the argument, we know we're dealing with an argument evaluation type question, right? Because we're being asked to weaken the claim or argument being made. Okay, so let's go ahead and analyze the passage and determine what the argument is that we're trying to weaken here. So the first sentence states that a recent online survey has revealed that working adults between the ages of 45 and 55 are the most likely to purchase video game consoles in California. And what we get in the second sentence is the idea that based on the results of the survey, which have revealed that working adults between the ages of 45 and 55 are most likely to purchase to purchase video game consoles that for this reason one can claim that the popular belief that video games tend to be enjoyed primarily by teenagers and college students is false. So what we get in the second sentence is that based on the results of the survey one can conclude that the popular belief that teenagers and college students are the primary demographic that play video games is false. Now let's remember what we're looking for is the line of argumentation okay upon which this claim is based right the claim being made is not the same thing as the argument so what we get here is the idea that based on the results of the survey which reveal that Working adults between the ages of 45 and 55 are the most likely to purchase video games. That one can claim that the popular belief that teens and college students are the primary demographic that enjoy video games is false. Okay, so put another way, what we get is a situation that because working adults purchase video games, that they must also play them. Okay, which would then allow for the conclusion that, that the common belief that video games tend to be played primarily by teenagers and college students is false. Okay, so the line of argumentation is as follows. Because working adults purchase video game consoles, they must play video games as well. Okay, because that allows for the author to make the claim that the idea that video games are primarily played by college students and teenagers is false. Okay, so we're trying to weaken the line of argumentation. So let's go ahead and evaluate each of the answer choices, starting with A. A. The argument is flawed primarily because the statement depends on a brief online survey that cannot be empirically verified. Okay, so what we get in A is the claim that because the online survey cannot be empirically validated, that the argument, that is the line of argumentation, is flawed. So let's remember we're trying to weaken the line of argumentation and what we get in A is the claim that the argument is invalid because the data is invalid. Okay, And this might very well be a legitimate flaw to point out but that would be the case only if there was some information pertaining to the passage that would lead us to believe that the data itself is invalid. But as we see, the online survey was conducted by the National Research Institute of Consumer Products and Affairs. And although 
it may be fictitious, it nonetheless points to a sense of legitimacy given the scope within which we're operating. But the point I'm trying to make clear here is that we cannot speculate beyond the information given. And because there's no information in the passage to lead us to believe that the survey is itself somehow flawed, then we have to say that A is incorrect. But in addition to this, the question is asking about the line of argumentation. And as we can see, A does not address any logical concern, but brings into question the actual data because it's based on an online survey. So we can say that A is at a scope because the empirical validity of the survey is not what is at stake, but the construction of the argument itself. B. The argument is flawed primarily because the statement fails to supply the specific racial makeup and class of adults between the ages of 45 and 55. Okay, so what we have to ask is whether or not the inclusion of racial and class demographics of people between the ages of 45 and 55 would make a difference as to whether or not working adults do in fact play video games more than teenagers and college students. In other words, does the omission of such data affect the line of argumentation? Well, obviously not. Sometimes such statements attempt to get you to speculate beyond the information that we have available to us in the passage. And in this case, one might begin to speculate on issues of inequality, um, issues of economic disparity, say. But these issues are mere speculation, and this is what such statements seem to do. So B is incorrect because the statement is irrelevant to the passage since it is concerned with working adults between the ages of 45 and 55 in general, meaning without regard to race, class, gender, etc. C. The argument is flawed primarily because the statement fails to distinguish between purchasing and playing video games. Okay, so if we consider that claim being made by the passage, namely that teens and college students are not the primary demographic that tend to play video games, is based on the idea that because working adults between the ages of 45 and 55 purchase video games, that they must then play video games in accordance to the rate of purchase. In other words, the line of argumentation does seem to be the conflation of purchasing and playing video games. Okay, let's remember, this isn't explicitly stated in the passage, but it's inferred from the information given. Okay, that is, the line of argumentation is inferred. So C is actually a good candidate. But we need to go ahead and look at all of the answer choices, of course. D. The argument is flawed primarily because the statement does not take into account demographic bias in California over rural parts of the country. So in D, we get a problem that's very similar to the one that we find in B. Namely that it's bringing in... demographic considerations that are irrelevant to the population with which we're dealing. Okay, so this means that other demographics outside of California are irrelevant to the argumentation because, again, what we're dealing with is the line of argumentation drawn from the information given. So we can go ahead and say that D is incorrect since other demographic data is not relevant to the passage since the line of argumentation is based strictly on data obtained from a survey of working adults between the ages of 45 and 55, specifically in California. E. The argument is flawed primarily because the statement suggests that working adults have time to play video games. 
Okay, so the claim that working adults have time to play video games is actually a presumption being made by the passage. And the statement is claiming that this presumption is problematic because working adults do not have time to play video games. So the question we have to ask is, is there information in the passage to support this claim? Obviously not. Okay, so we can say that E is outside the scope of the passage since it is claiming that working adults do not in fact have time to play video games without any supporting evidence. Okay, and because we're looking at the line of argumentation, which in this case is context specific, we cannot refer to information outside the scope of the passage. So E is incorrect because there is no evidence in the passage to support the statement, which implies that working adults do not in fact have time to play video games. So we can go ahead and say that C correctly weakens a line of argumentation being made in the passage, right? Because a statement notes the fact that the argument made confuses the idea of adults playing video games with them purchasing consoles. This has been a tutorial from gmatquestions.org, and I hope you found this segment useful. We encourage you to explore the rest of the features we have to offer on our website, and we thank you for watching.